His grandfather says, where are you from, mate? She says, I'm from Montreal. He said, that's what he kills everybody else, isn't it? But we didn't have that back then. But we're changed now. <laughs> we're gone modern, we have that stuff here now. The old houses where people lived years ago, the old homesteads, are there fall down, you know? I feel sorry for them, but that's all you can do is the new flowers disappearing. But in my day, like, there was no TV, there was no electric lights. And we sat around the kitchen table with a lamp on, listening to old people telling stories and entertaining us. Your TV killed it, see? And electric lights. Every Thursday was brain day, where you had six trays of brains sliced up. Well, I had a lot of respect for people's brains, but just think people lived a lifetime with that brain, and I had them there in the bucket. Well, when we were young, if you got a good pony, you didn't get rid of it. You kept them until you had to go away to work or something. You, if you couldn't look after them, you got rid of them. But if you're bonded, you got to stay bonded, hey boy. What? You could tell the pony that got kind eyes of too. Annie is a good pony. She's a real good Newfoundland pony, the one over there. But her eyes are evil sometimes. So somebody said, When did Clifford start painting? Mom said, Boy, Clifford's a good artist, she said. <laughs> You'll hear your mother praise you up. She said, he, when he was a little boy, he used to be drawn on the floor. And as time went on, the people in the community used to give me a little bit of paint when they were painting their houses and they had different colors. But I never did uh, strive for greatness or anything like that. All I strived for was to get enough canvases, enough paint, so I could, you know, that's my cocaine. That's how I get high in life. <laughs>